All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab's in the house. And today I'm in the house with the Defcon Knives uh, uh, Barracuda here with me for a review. And we're gonna analyze the look, the sound and the feel of this guy. But hey, don't forget to like the video and to subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying this kind of content. So let's see, what do we have here? Um, because you guys requested uh, me to review some cheaper knives and then I got uh, this one because uh, I thought um, it was appealing, like aesthetically appealing. I, I didn't have uh, really much hopes for this guy, but I was wrong because uh, there is something really spectacular on this one and uh, it's the action and we're gonna check it in a second. First of all, let's just check uh, the overall size of this big boy, big boy, average boy, I would say, because it's 8.2 inches, so not that big, with a 3.5 inch long blade and roughly 4. Point, uh, what is it, 75 inch long uh, handle, so not a huge one. Uh, and let's see how this guy compares up against Ontario Rat number two and Ontario Rat number one right over here. And it's right in the middle. So uh, when it's right in the middle, the usual suspects, you know that it's a good size because for example, this is the Benchmade Knives uh, mini bug out and the bug out also from uh, Benchmade, it's still smaller than that. This is a very, very cool size. Uh, in my opinion, I really like uh, lately something like in, in this kind of range. Um, because for example, that's the Spyderco Para 3 and this is the Spyderco Para Military 2. So this guy is pretty much same size as this one. There's more cutting edge on the Defcon. And uh, for example, if we check uh, another couple of offerings, this is the Chris Reeve Knives Small Sebenza 21. And this is of course the large Sebenza 21. You're gonna see that, um, yeah, the Chris Reeve is a little bit bigger just a tad bigger than that so it's in the same range of this guy just a little bit uh, uh, smaller so it's still pretty pretty decent uh, for EDC even if I think that this is the right size like to have a comfortable carry even like in the summer when you have some shorts uh, uh, going on and nothing too heavy or this is more like a winter carry, I don't know, because it's just a little bit bigger than that. So this is right in between these two offerings from Shirogorov. This is the F95 Slim Nudist, and this guy over here is the R20. And let me show you just another couple options. Here we have the CRKT Ruger, look at that. And here we have the Kershaw Atmos, uh, and these are gonna be featured in some reviews uh, pretty soon. And then what else can I show you guys? Just another couple, because we have them here, look at that. Uh, this is the Alliance Design Slim Mini Pickens. Fantastic button lock. And uh, let me show you something pretty big. This is the Custom Knife Factory Muscle Tashi Barusha Design. And uh, let's put another big boy. Uh, this is the Sukhoi Anton Malishev Design, also from Custom Knife Factory. So you can see that the Defcon is not that uh, uh, big uh, after all, if compared, especially with the, that, those two bad boys. So let's check it out. Uh, what do we have here is a uh, titanium uh, frame lock with some, uh, uh, I don't know what color is this, like purple anodized. Uh, it's it's like a nice shimmering color. It's, uh, it's different, uh, but it's titanium um, frame lock and uh, it's, uh, there's no uh, internal skeletonization. Um, as you can see, the slabs are just flush on the inside. You have some nice um, uh, external chamfering. You can appreciate it right over here and just a tiny bit. I mean, it's not sharp, but it's not that much sharp um, chamfering going on on the inside. Mostly it's like 2D milled. There's not uh, like, a, there, there's not, um, it's not curved. There's no radiuses on the surface. It's it's pretty flat. Like if you look at it from this side, but there's some pretty cool milling actually. It's, uh, it's quite fine. You can see these milling lines are nicely done. Um, there's a central area, which is just uh, flat and some milling, which are uh, symmetrical. You see on the, on the lock side as well, you can appreciate some of that. Um, you have uh, no finger grooves, just like one long arch over here. Um, you have a couple of standoffs, uh, um, stainless steel, there's no backspacer, there's a lanyard hole option over here, just drilled through both scales. 
look at that so you're gonna have your paracord or whatever just passing through those and um, you have the blade which is uh, like pretty much centered and uh, absolutely safe no way you're gonna be able to touch uh, the tip of the blade uh, with your finger so it's pretty safe uh, the overall look when closed it's it's nice and sleek I have to say it's uh, there's nothing wrong in it I probably don't have appreciate this like uh, v-shaped area over here i like when it's uh, uh, all the, um, like flush uh, so that's probably not the best but i mean it's just a little uh, design uh, uh, nitpick that i have but it's uh, nothing wrong with that for sure you've got uh, a nice uh, flipper tab uh, which is uh, you see like it's um, empty like it's uh, hollow sorry and the on the inside and it's jimped uh, on the top so it's gonna be really good for light switch and also you can actually you see press on this part right over here and do a uh, push button action but it's gonna be a little bit harder to perform um, also you can uh, see that there is a t8 torx bit screw for the pivot and t6 for the handle and taking uh, down this guy is gonna be pretty straightforward you just you know take down these two screws and this one it's it's done um, the screws are not completely flush with the uh, scale they're protruding just a tiny bit it's like there's a little bit of dome kind of uh, sticking out but nothing um, obnoxious uh, uh, in any way so pretty straightforward to disassemble and uh, also guys I mean in that price they even managed to include like a stainless steel lock face insert because this is titanium frame lock and it's softer uh, metal um, compared to the steel so it would create some lock stick uh, like, like at the interface le uh, level and they added even a stainless steel lock face insert with guess what over travel stop bar integrated right underneath right there so i mean it's that's pretty good uh you have an external um uh, lock bar relief cut out right there you have uh, uh i believe they even uh put a, a ceramic uh, detent ball yeah it's a ceramic detent ball which is crazy um titanium uh pocket clip it's just like there's no milling it's just like a flat slab so it's pretty easy but to do but i mean it's it, it's nicely done with this uh, uh kind of like not bag style ball but it's uh, very similar and um you have uh, uh this pocket clip which is not reversible it's tip up carry only it's just gonna be for right-handed people because there's two holes only on that side not on this one so just keep that in mind you also have like these two kind of like standoffs matching these two standoffs for the pocket clip right there um, then you open the knife and you have uh, uh, this 3.5 uh, inch long d2 steel uh, blade let me just clean it out uh, which is uh, interestingly done uh, it's a two-tone uh, finish you can see the uh, flats that have been stonewashed as well as the spine and the primary bevel has uh, it's a satin finish you can clearly maybe like here like you see you can see the belt uh, lines and then you have uh, a swedge going on there's a little bit of chamfer uh, around the spine over here no jimping it's just flush and kind of like a just a hint of a harpoon um, blade style with some chamfering going down up to the tip which then extends to the sharpening choil with the full belly it's just belly there's no straight edge right over here it's made in d2 steel you can see right there um, and the thickness is uh, it's relatively uh, thin i think and uh, behind the edge also it's nicely ground so it's a, it's a pretty cool slicer guys the steel is uh, it's a tool steel so uh, nothing wrong with that but it's in the lower end of course but it's going to be pretty uh, easy to maintain also you've got uh, a pretty fine tip uh, so i don't know about uh, like prime with this guy because the tip at the end is it's pretty fine um, also, I'm, uh, I can appreciate some pretty uh, cool edge uh, symmetry and pretty nice grind symmetry. So good job, guys. Uh, there, a nice plunge grind. As you can see, the sharpening choil is very effective if you want to maintain your knife. You've got some chamfering going on around the flipper tab. Nice touch with this uh, uh, cutout uh, in the uh, flipper tab. I appreciate that as well 
What I'm not really appreciating that much is this Defcon logo and uh, Jungle Knife written in the back and USA Design China TF3. I mean, why? Just don't. Uh, just leave it clean. Just print it on a piece of paper. I'll be more than happy to take that because I'm not really a fan of this kind of billboarding going on right on the blade. So, I mean, but that's just me. On the sound department, this is how the knife is sounding. So it has a unobtrusive click and a little clink when you uh, close it. Nice cl click or clack and that clinking when uh, definitely it's closing. I, I like the, I like this ding sound. When you open it, it's meh. I mean, nothing, nothing special. There's nothing wow going on. There's no wow factor in the opening sound, but in the closing sound, it's it's decent. Yeah, I, I can take it. I appreciate that. So it's uh, it's, it's interesting. Um, also, we can check uh, the weight of this guy because it's a titanium frame lock. There's no skeletonization, so it's not going to be super light, but it's going to be 4.1 ounces. So that's not too shabby for a 3.5 inch long blade. So nice titanium um, scales over here. And the uh, for what concerns the um, ergonomics, I can actually feel a little bit of a hot spot right at this level, at the tip of the... Um, of the pocket clip and just a little bit. So this area here gets a little bit in the way when you're like squishing and squeezing the handle. This protrusion, it's pretty sharp, you see? Like you just squeeze like that and it just uh, like digs a little bit in your flesh, like as you can see that. So maybe that's not the best solution, but it's, it's not a huge deal. Uh, maybe a little bit more, uh, you can feel it uh, right uh, at this level of the, um, of the clip, which has, uh, by the way, quite strong retention. And uh, the uh, clip ramp is, uh, yeah, as I said, like bag, let's say Todd bag style. So it's, it's not my favorite uh, to have like a, a ball like here. I prefer more like, a, um, for example, I don't know, what uh, what do I like? Something like this. Like in this case, you have a nice clip ramp uh, to uh, to get the knife in and out of the pocket, but not a big deal. Um, you don't have any jimping going on whatsoever anywhere on this one. So it's a little bit, not slippery, because there's a little bit of texture here, but uh, it's, it's really here. Maybe I would have preferred a little bit of jimping going on, and uh, I would have preferred maybe a little bit more clear uh, out um, area to just jam my finger over here. There's a little bit of milled area, but I uh, would have preferred a little bit more for me to be able to disengage the lock bar, but it's still doable. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Um, the fit and finish is also pretty decent, uh, especially for the price. Uh, I mean, there is nothing rattling, nothing shaking, nothing misaligned. Uh, I'm not seeing many issues on this one. The blade is centered, there is uh, no blade play, no lock stick, uh, flipper tab is nicely designed. Uh, this area needs a little bit more attention because it's, it's not that good. Uh, the clip uh, area also, it's not my favorite, but uh, uh, what is really, really great about this guy is the action. I mean, guys, look at this. This is one of the best uh, acting, let's say, uh, knife for the price. I mean, it runs on uh, uh, bearings. Um, it's smooth in the deployment and in the closing action, it's really, really Good, look at that. You've got uh, your uh, free fall effect as soon as you disengage the lock bar, as you can see, just free falling. And you put it in the vertical position and it's gliding down. It's not like a pure guillotine effect. You see, it just stops and then you just need to rotate the handle to for it to close. And it's, uh, it's, a, it's a, gorgeous, a gorgeous action for something like this cheap so it's it's really really good it's my favorite thing about this knife so very very good detent strength is on the, in the it's nicely dialed in i would say on the medium side and uh, uh, also you have uh, see nice magnetic effect like 
from here uh, it just gets sucked in and it's uh, it's nicely done I mean so overall I think that this is a pretty cool looking knife uh, nice titanium frame lock you've got d2 steel you've got a dual uh, two-tone uh, uh, finish blade ergos are okay you know a little bit of love here and here would have been fantastic uh, the sound is not the best but the action is superb like really really impressed by the action of this little fella over here so there you have it hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching stay tuned